Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You're back with Mr. Amy Cat once more playing some more two point hospital for you guys. Um, and we're just going to go straight back into the episode that we're doing, which is Lower Bullocks. And uh, just continue that straight on. Now, um, we are waiting at the moment for uh, another upgrade to a machine. Um, so I am going to actually. Um, so I'll just let the game run for a bit until we, we actually get something like that and we can do it um, because it's, it might take a while uh, to actually wait for that. Oh, we've, got, we've got the yearly, yearly review first, let's wait for that first and foremost for you guys so you can see that and see what we've got, see how it's done. Um, let's have a look, we're going to do a show all like we always do, uh, we've already got Doctor of the Inner of the Year and stuff like that so let's just open all of these. Oh wow, okay, we've got all of them apart from no deaths. Doctor of the Year, Nurse of the Year, Janitor of the Year, Assistant of the Year, Patient's Choice Award, Most Prestigious Hospital and Employer of the Year as well. That's going to give us some loads of money. Um, the challenge we've done with that lady already, uh, report a visit, yes of course, come on down. Uh, we've got some more patients, we're still waiting to cure them, one of them may be dead. Possibly. Um, but yes. I shall be back shortly anyway guys, I'm just going to wait for the uh, the next machine to be upgraded basically, I've got to wait for that before I can actually complete the 2 star hospital, and I can move on to 3 stars and then get on to the next hospital for you guys. Anyway, I shall be back shortly. Right guys, so, what we had to do, we had to help sell our the Luxo Deluxe or whatever it is, Deluxo Lux machine so that we could then pay to have it upgraded again so we're just doing that now so as soon as the janitor's finished doing that oh, we've got a yearly review as well um, then we'll uh, we'll have completed the two star hospital uh, challenges here we go let's open all of them again and I think we've got all of these apart from no deaths again which is amazing. Seems our hospital is doing very, very well. All right, so let's just wait for this to be done, and then we can get on to the third, well, three-star challenges, and uh, possibly get a start on the next level as well. Boom! There we go. So that's our two-star challenges done there. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a two-star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. Your organization's lifespan continues to eclipse even the most daring predictions from our office-wide wager. As you grow larger, you procure new plates, uh, sorry, and procure new plates that require spinning. The inevitable crash draws nearer and nearer. Best not to think about it. Well, that's awfully nice. So we've got the extractor pan two there from that one. Uh, so what we've got here, get a hospital to level 10, cure rate of 70%, and hospital attractiveness of 65%. Well this shouldn't be too hard, for the three stars, to be fair, we don't have to buy the other, uh, the other room either, the Is other it just building. Or the pointy um, getting less pointy? I think, we should what I'm gonna do, some money and get them I'm gonna remove this staff room, staff room. Who wants to live in the shadow of move this over mountains. here, right? And I'm going to make it loads bigger. For a start, we'll do that. Um, some lovely windows. That'll, that'll do for now. I guess it's over into level 9. There's a ward emergency that we need to do. We'll do that. Um, what, what else can we put in here? One of the pans labbing. Yeah, that'll uh, be nice actually. Pop another pans lab in here. Who's in? What's this? Inflated ego. Can't look at that right now. So let's just get this done. Um, there we go. Duck. That takes us up to halfway up level 9. The canthropy discovered. And inflated egos. Okay, other rooms can we 
do? I'm gonna do another pharmacy, I guess. There'll be no harm in doing another pharmacy. There we go, pop a filing cabinet in the corner like we always do, or in both the corners, why not? Uh, that's close to the door so we can get it, as always. Uh, pop a couple plants down. Boom, boom. I don't need a light-headed person there. There we go. That's that done. We just need to get the uh, hospital to level 10, that's why I'm building these rooms. And then that's this particular one done, believe it or not. Um, we've got some room here to put a room in. Um, what should we put in there? We've got inspection report, yes, yes. Done both of those things. stars. So dear hospital administrator, three star hospital, congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a three star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. Being recognised as a first class establishment is always an accomplishment to be celebrated. May your festivities be righteous but brief, then get back to work. Yours fragrantly, Tarquin Foxbridge. We've got extract pan level three now as well. So there we go, that's, that's this hospital, this particular hospital done. Um, yeah, we'll accept that. Uh, somebody who needs to be promoted, there we go. So that's that's this particular level done now. I didn't need all of the space in this particular footprint, to be quite frankly honest with you. Um, but yeah, let's go back to our map. And the next level that we have is up here and it's fluttering. Learn about staff development and training. So let's get into that. Okay guys, so staff development. To get the most out of our staff, we'll need to train and promote them. When someone has gained enough experience on the job and had some training, they will be ready for promotion. By promoting them, you know, their skills increase and they are able to learn a new qualification. They might also want a pay rise, because they're greedy. Firstly though, you will need a training license. The Two Point Health Ministry has promised to grant us a license if we can demonstrate our commitment to staff well-being here in Fluttering. Okay, so what do we need to do? Get hospital level to 4, higher center staff, staff morale of 55. Alright, where do we want our entrance? Our entrance I think is here. Yeah, there's another bit that we can build there, another bit that we can build there. How oh, can we knock some houses down as well? Oh, okay. Alright, so this is our main entrance, right here. Now... I want to look through some of the items on here because you can get some new stuff using these uh, these kudos or, or kudosh, that's what they're called. All right, so we're not gonna get any of those at the moment. We are gonna get a reception desk up, obviously. Um, and we're gonna pop that. Where are we? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's pick it up. Put it back there. Yeah, that gives a, a little bit of space and this can be our waiting area. So that's that done. Um, we are on pause, aren't we? Yeah, we are on pause. Okay, um, what's next? Well, ideally, we need to get our rooms on the go, right? So we'd have to build the GP's office first and foremost. So let's put that one back. One, two, three, four, three, there we go. GP's office built. That'll do for now. We want some windows in it. go. GP's office done. Right. It's not going to leave for a gap though, it's not much is it? Yeah, no, I don't think we can actually put the GP's there. Um, this is a weird one. Maybe we could put... Hold on. We rotate it. In there. Yeah, it will about. Then we can put another GP's office in there, right? Okay, that'll do me. There we go. 
GP's office sorted. Uh, put a couple more windows on it because we lost the two that we had on the back ends. That's our GP's office sorted. Um, next, it's going to be our pharmacy. That's the pharmacy done. GD, general diagnosis. Um, yeah, let's put a GD over here. Well, I can do three, three by three, can't it? So, fit in there. Yeah, it will. Right. Oops. And the examination table. There we go. So that's that done. Uh, what do we need to? We need to hire some staff now, don't we? We need a doctor. Uh, of Kylie Buckets. Uh, hire a nurse. These nurses are really good. I want her. I want her. And we also need an assistant. Up for you because you've got four skills. There we go. What other rooms do we need? In cardiology. We need a ward in psychiatry. Okay, just put our normal stuff in now. Plants in here. There we go. Do me. And psychiatry. Deluxe clinic. Hands lab. Hands lab needs to be five. Alright, so what can we put in here then? We're gonna have another GP's office there, that's what I'm saving that space for. We've got a psychiatry room. We need a staff room, we need toilets. I'm thinking toilets actually might be quite good here. There we go. Uh, does this room need some windows? It does. I'm not really a big fan of putting windows and toilets. I just really don't like it. Put some windows on here though. And also on this one. We need to do cardiology. some more windows in that. There we go. Uh, what other rooms do we need? And now the staff room can be super small. I'm not bothered too much about the staff room at the moment, simply because of the fact that we don't have the space right now. Machine. 
Ten. in the middle of the room. I have a sofa. There. Right. Yeah. There. Yeah. space for some rooms to the side as well. There we go. Alan's lab done. Uh, we need a deluxe clinic. Some windows. There we go. Uh, what else is there? Cardiology, we've got GED, we've got pharmacy, we've got GP's office. I think we're ready to go. So, let's get some uh, people up on in here. Let's get in and some money. So the hospital got to level 4 pretty easily. Um, yeah, I'll be back in a second guys once we've had some patients come through and we can... I don't know, see so well, we need to hire a janitor actually. Ooh, that guy's perfect. I'll have that guy. Right there. My uh, therapist need still doctor? says I need to find a hobby, so I decided to try whittling. Oh, we Ever need a ward. With a small knife and we need a to pop a ward in here. It's a very fulfilling experience. I think that'll just about do us for that for now. We've got our ward sorted. There we go. It's all done. So let's carry on. And we need to create a bit of a waiting, some waiting, uh, waiting rooms, waiting areas. I need to hire seven staff, guys. So I'll be back shortly once we've actually uh, sort of hired some more people, um, because that's basically for our training license. And I believe we need to uh, install some training stuff for like make a training room and things. So we will be back shortly. Okay, so it looks like I've just been uh, basically trying to create a bit of a waiting area for people and stuff I like just put some seats down and stuff around um, But we need to create another GP's office because we're getting pretty busy pretty quickly. So let's pop in another GP's uh, Identical to the one that we currently have Then we'll hire our last Doctor that we need to complete this first, excuse me, this first task. Boom. There we go. We can also do seating arrangement outside of this room. a psychiatrist so we'll get this guy training unlocked there we go put it back on normal speed for now 
Trading license. Great news. The Two Point Health Ministry has granted us a trading license. This will allow us to train our staff in all of our hospitals. Building a training room allows you to run a training course. Staff with a free training slot can go on a course to learn a new qualification. Okay then. Beware, clowns. Fluttering has had a bit of a problem recently. Clowns. They're everywhere. Apparently they keep escaping from the travelling circus. Their hijinks can be a real nuisance. We'll need some new equipment to deal with them. The Orb Foundation have a patented method for recalibrating the minds of clowns, supporting their rehabilitation back into society. They have offered to supply us with the necessar necessary equipment if we can demonstrate our ability to mould our own staff. Sounds a bit sinister to me, but who am I to judge? Hmm. Does sound rather sinister, let's be honest. But we're going to do it anyway. A train a staff member. Oh, there's loads of people waiting for these machines. We need to uh, look at branching out into a new plot. So that's 30,000, that's 40, that's 50. So if we start off with this one. Uh, what we got? Train three staff? No, I can't do that now. Don't worry. Not at this particular point in time, I'm afraid. I'm just inside your radio. There we go. That's our second part built. Now we're definitely not going to get through this level in this episode, I don't think. Because they are progressively getting... I wouldn't say harder per se. Um, they are progressively getting a little bit longer each time. And more complex, shall we say. It's probably the better phrasing to use. I don't really want to move any of these or anything like that. Um, what rooms do we have to build? I think we squished everything into here. We can move a few things. I'm going to leave the toilets there and stuff. I'm going to leave this here. I think I'm going to leave the ward for now. We've got a psychiatrist, a psychiatrist already in place. I think we do need another GP. Poster in here as well, why not? Yeah. And we got another GP's office there. Uh I penny stood. Salvation. It's eight people waiting to go into psychiatry. Is out now. Really? Um we're probably gonna have to make a new psychiatrist. Right. Oh, I've got one, two, three. We're sorry for the litter that you dropped on our floor. I know I've not really unlocked anything with my coins and points yet. Um, there's a reason in for that. I don't really think it's needed right at this very point in time. Um, I know I've got quite a bit of points and stuff, but. As, as it goes, as we're currently standing, I don't really think we need it at all. Um, so I'm just going to leave it for the time being, if I'm honest. Um, oh. So we've got another psychiatrist. Do we need to hire another doctor? Oh yeah. Staff promotion. Let's build a training room, yes I know. Might actually build it just on here. Stuff it in that little gap. Training. To start a training course, click on the lectern or drop a suitable member of staff into the room. Staff will also request training when they're ready. In the training screen, select the qualification you want staff to learn, assign a trainer, and select the staff you wish to send on this course. When you're ready, click the start button. When picking a trainer, you can use your own staff, choosing one of their qualifications to teach, or you can pay extra to bring in a guest trainer. I'll probably end up paying extra to bring in a guest trainer guy. Yeah, look. Guest trainer, got Dr. Herman Froud. Uh, there's a few people waiting to go to there. How many people's waiting to go to there for? Let's 
special report, we've got 4 out of 4 pain, uh, patients, pandemic and monobrow, health inspection, I think we might need another nurse, ooh she's really good, yeah, yeah, yeah we want her. Right, okay, so it's best if we do this. Right? 37 to 54 days. Wow. Um, psychiatry. I got junior doctor, yeah, it'll do that. Okay, this is getting interesting, uh, rather rather quick actually. Um, I'm actually quite enjoying it. So we're gonna wait for this guy to be trained up, and then we'll, we'll pass this one to unlock a clown clinic, um, which I can pop in here somewhere. Um, I'm not gonna change anything else right now. I know that the staff room is tiny, and <laughs> we need to change it. I'm not gonna change anything at the moment. I really would like to get a news agent in down here. It's the perfect area for it, but like it's not where all the footfall is. another we need to hire another janitor that's for sure another oh, need to hire another assistant she's pretty good though Doctor wanted in 90 days without a death it's a challenge. There we go. Got the clown clinic. Okay, let's look at building this. How big does it need to be? Minimum room size 4x4. Four four. Okay. That would fit in down here actually. Do it or not. 4x4. Four four. There we go. It's the clown clinic. Seriously, indeed. More instantly forgettable there we go. coming up next. Fits in nicely down there. Oh god, we need more. Uh, one star asked, we'll train three staff and promote three staff. Well, we've already promoted one of them. Um, okay, so here's our uh, awards ceremony. Uh, go straight for it. Doctor of the Year, Nurse of the Year, Rising Star, and Player of the Year, and Most Prestigious Hospital. Uh, we've also got Best Teaching Hospital this time as well. So, Rising Star's a new one, I think, as well. It used to have Janitor of the Year and Assistant of the Year. They, they have now gone. Place by Rising Star and Best Teaching Hospital. Sorry, Assistants and Janitors. You're just not good enough, apparently. Dominic Marmalade. Let's get a couple more just crappy guys, right? And then we're gonna pop them in here. Where are they? One, two. What courses have we got? We've got psychiatry, diagnostics, stamina, emotional intelligence. I put those both on general practice. Right, so the general practice course is completed. Let's see if we can get this done before we, uh, before we do it. The diagnostic, so we'll get this guy in again. We're gonna get... How were the two junior guys that I had? Oh, we'll get that guy in. Yeah, because I only need to train one more person to get the one star tasks done. We'll just do that. Diagnostics trainer course is done, so now we just need to promote one more member of staff. There's a point actually. Staff training required. Bosworth Itch has gained lots of experience on the job. They'll be ready for promotion to consultant once they've completed some training. A new qualification will give, in, will give them increased abilities. Ok, 
Okay, well, what do you want to give him? Uh, we'll just Psychiatry 2. Or not. Now I just have to promote one more member of the staff to complete the first star for this level, which is awesome. We can end this episode there. That's that challenge done. I don't actually know where we move after this one because I think this is the final, um, the final sort of level on this in this particular area. Oh, there's a, a ghost here. Look, I think we've already got a uh, a guy that's uh, capable of handling that. I believe. If we haven't, then I'm screwed. Just going to staff and just make sure we do. Yeah, we do. The guy's got a ghost catching ability. So that's good. It would be nice if you actually get the ghost though. Wait. I don't understand why you can't. Ooh, staff promotion. Now we can now we can complete this. So, um make sure we get a decent salary, twenty-four thousand, there you go. And we've done it. So there we there we go. Our one star level um I, I don't know, challenges I guess are done. So, dear hospital administrator, uh, one star hospital, congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one star rating by the two point health ministry. You're getting rather good at this I see, and showing signs of an ability to develop staff from within. How terribly promising, which is to say how terrible. Uh, st stay there to nurture this fledgling talent or abandon it altogether and move on to pastures new in our chilly northern region. Okay, so that's an entirely new region, which we're not going to go to at the moment. But we've got Mitten University, uh, Tumble, Reception, and the Clown Poster. It's cool. So we'll continue on. Now, this is where I'm going to end this episode, guys. I'll do the final two stars for this particular level uh, in the next uh, episode for you. Um, Oh look, yeah, we, we captured the ghost there as well, which is awesome. So if you have indeed enjoyed the, the video, please do leave a like. Uh, any comments that you have, leave them in the comment section down below, and I will certainly respond to them as soon as possible. And lastly, if you've not already done so and you are new here, please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, it does help me out quite a lot, it just lets me know that I'm making decent content for you, and just lets me know that you're going to come back as well. So yes, please do that. Anyway guys, until the next one, Peace out.